don't know you guys. This right. <laughs> What's good, foodie fam? It's your boy Roderick at Carl's Jr. You can't see it because UPS parked right behind me just to mess with my shot. But we out here because today only, August 15th, you can get a free Beyond All Star, Star All, what is it? A Beyond All Star, right? That's what it is. My bad, a Beyond Famous Star for free if you buy a large drink. So you get a large drink, let's see, it is $2.19 for the drink, $6.29 for the Beyond Famous Star, but they take it off and it becomes down to, what, $2.38 with tax for a large drink and a burger? Okay, I'm down. I don't even want the drink, but you know, whatever. Got some napkins in here. Got some barbecue sauce, of course. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I dropped the barbecue sauce, hold up. But oh, you won't believe what's in this bag. Oh, it's a merch, boy! Woo! Go down below, click that link, and get your own. All right, so let's see. In the bag, this is pretty, pretty, like, look how big this is. No wonder it's seven bucks. Oh, look at that. Beyond Meat. I'm hoping this one's gonna be better than Burger King's, although, I mean, I guess theirs was good, decent, whatever. But Carl's Jr., they got Beyond. Burger King got impossible. And this one looks and feels a lot bigger and heavier. And Carl's Jr. is like miles ahead of Burger King in every way. So let's see what we got on the inside. Let's unwrap this bad boy. Oh, you guys can't see it. They, they messed me up. Ugh, there we go. This thing is so heavy. I feel like there's some weird smell, except it might just be in my head. I don't know. Maybe it's just the bun. But look at that. We got that Beyond Meat Patty. We got some lettuce. What else we got on here? Gotta get this whole wrapper off real quick. Come on, let's get this all settled out. Okay, here we go, you guys. We got the Beyond Meat Patty, nice and big. Oh, that actually, look at that. Like, if I didn't know any better, that looks like meat. It feels nice and hot, thankfully. I had to wait for it. We got some pickles, some mayo, ew, um, some lettuce, some onions, some tomato action, some, <laughs> ooh, a big old slice of America and some more mayo, whoa. And then there's some ketchup. They douse this thing in mayo. So if, you, if you're vegan, you know, you gotta get no mayo and what? No cheese, there you go. But if you're not and you're vegetarian, I guess you can just get the way it is. Although I'd probably substitute the cheese, but everyone's gonna complain. You can't do any cut, you can't blah, 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 blah. Okay, anyways, <laughs> I'm trying to review the, the patty. I don't care about the rest of it. If this patty don't taste like me, it doesn't matter what's on it. Although they could probably disguise it. But there we go, you guys. Beyond Famous Star is about to go down the hatch. You ready for this one? <sighs> it smells really charred. Although you can make anything smell charred if you grill it, right? <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. You ready? We're gonna get that big old bite right there with everything. I taste the char. Hold up. I'm not sure if that was the cheese or the patty, but it tasted really mushy. <laughs> Let me try to get some of this patty by itself. Oh yeah. Texture-wise, it actually feels like meat, <laughs> but it's a lot squishier than an actual patty even compared to the Impossible Whopper. So that's weird, the texture is on point, the look is on point, but when you bite into it, you just get that softness. Hold up. <laughs> this one, <laughs> this one is kind of fooling me actually, even though it's soft. Like I don't have that aftertaste I had with the Impossible Whopper. Oh, I don't know. guys what's going on here 
Okay, it doesn't have any weird smell. It's weird. Yo, based on this, the Beyond Burger is way better than the Impossible Burger. I mean, if they could just firm it up a little bit somehow, I think it'd be perfect. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm really considering that they gave me meat. I don't know. But meat, it wouldn't be this soft. I guess it could be, but I mean, Carl's Jr. meat isn't this soft. Okay, let's, let, me, let, me, let me do this again, all right? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's crazy because this one should be impossible because <laughs> there's no way. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> this one right here, huh? It has to. Okay, I need one more final bite. <laughs> Let's see. Funny, I was expecting to take one bite of this, but. <laughs> Here, hold on. Let, me, uh, let me see. Hmm. There's a piece of the meat by itself. <laughs> what? What? That's crazy. I don't know you guys. This right <laughs> This is fooling me right now. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have that meaty taste. So I guess if I had an actual hamburger next to it, kept taking a bite, switching back and forth, then I might be able to tell. I mean, probably, definitely, if you taste that grease and everything, but. <sighs> like seriously, if you just get this, someone gives you this, you wouldn't, <laughs> you, you would definitely wouldn't notice. They're like, here, here's a hamburger for you. Enjoy. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, it's good. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> they got me. Mm. Wow. Oh, UPS left? Finally. I need to go deliver my packages. <laughs> anyway. On a scale of 1 to 10, the Carl's Jr. Famous... Wow, let me start over. On a scale of 1 to 10, the Carl's Jr. Beyond Famous Burger... Wow, I messed up again. On a scale of 1 to 10, the Carl's Jr. Beyond Famous Star Burger... There we go. It definitely smacks. Like, seriously. I... Don't know. Like, other than it being a little mushy, the texture is right, the char is right, it doesn't have a weird taste. It basically feels like meat, although just a little bit softer. If they can just firm it up a bit, it'll be perfect. Like, right now, like, if you want to choose between the Beyond Famous Star and an Impossible Whopper, they're about the same price, like six something, right? Go for the Carl's Jr. Beyond Famous Star. Miles ahead of Burger King. Then again, Burger King, there's nothing there that's actually. <laughs> acceptable quality for anything really every time I go there it's nasty jeez I'm impressed they got me now I know why they're giving them out for free I thought that was crazy because they're so expensive but they give you one for free today and they're like here have it and they know you're gonna be coming back for more like if you are trying to get off the meat you're a vegetarian or a vegan you gonna get this and enjoy it well then again, I still don't know why vegans want something that tastes like meat anyways. Probably, I mean, hardcore vegans probably don't, but if you used to eat meat and you're like, oh, I want meat, but I don't want to go back. Here you go, right here. I can't believe this one. This one is the impossible one. It's beyond impossible. I don't know about, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd say it's beyond meat, but it's like, I love meat, but wow. That's crazy.
Like it just looks like, wow. I don't know you guys, definitely recommend trying out this at Carl's Jr. 629 is a bit pricey, although if you don't want that meat, this is definitely worth it. I mean, that's pretty much how much all their burgers are. I don't think they have $6 burgers. There you go. This one's meatless, so basically the same thing. I can't believe this. <laughs> it got me. I thought I was going to hate it. I ate like half of it. I'm going to go finish the rest of it, too. I just don't want to make the video too long to bore you guys. But let me know if you guys tried it out. Let me know if you tried the Beyond Famous Star as well as the Impossible Whopper. Let me know what your thoughts are on which one is better. The Impossible Whopper was extremely dry. This one right here. Oh, it smacks, all right. Oh, boy. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know which one you like was, the, <laughs> which one you thought was better. This Beyond Meat is driving me nuts right now. Oh, but anyways, thumbs up, red subscribe button, get the merch, social media, and I'll see you in the next one.